I will show you one example from the laboratory of Professor Stuart Schreiber at Harvard. Dr. James Chen, who is currently a professor in Stanford, who was a graduate student at that time, right here, then he used one bead, one compound method, to synthesize a library of peptides. The goal was to understand what kind of peptide is bound to SA3 domain, a cancer-related signaling protein. To identify the peptide, he labeled the SH3 domain with a fluorescent molecule and added uh, to uh, the label protein to the library of the peptide. He then looked at the uh, library through a microscope to observe any fluorescent beads. And that microscope, you can see the peptide beads like this. As microscope, you can see the beads like that. Remember, each one of these bees has a different peptide. Then he added this fluorescent protein, fluorescent SA3 domain, to the bee sample. Then he was looking for the bees, fluorescent bees. He carefully separated fluorescent bees with tweezers and and verified which peptide was bound to the, pe the bees. The, this approach allowed him to identify the peptides that bind to the SH3 domain. Then SH3 domain binding peptide turned out to be um, proline rich. You can see a lot of P's here. P represents the proline, if you remember. The one bees, one compound method has also had a great impact on the pharmaceutical industry. When the drug-like small molecules are synthesized on the bees, millions of drug candidates can be synthesized simultaneously. That these small molecules are added to human cells who are mixed with disease-related enzymes and then screened for drug candidates. The systematic synthesis of a large number of chemical compounds is called a combinatorial chemistry. Uh, this approach has been applied to drug discovery programs in industry since the mid-1990s. The emergence of combinatorial chemistry required a paradigm shift. The synthetic chemistry was once designed to selectively create a single chosen molecule. You have starting material, then add something there, then try to create particular molecule in a selective way, right? Or in the, the solid phase uh, synthetic method was designed to selectively synthesize a single peptide like that. In contrast, the combinatorial chemistry focuses on creating uh, the various kind of molecules at once. If you start with something else, then there, but the goal is to get many different kind of molecules. So that is the uh, concept. So such a synthesis is called diversity-oriented synthesis. You try to get, you try to synthesize as many different molecules as possible at once. This change reflects the reverse or rearrange concept 
of the scamper technique. Uh, in diversity oriented synthesis, the purpose is reversed, which opens up a new avenue of research.